Travelling on the underground can be a trial for everybody at the best of times, but it's even more difficult when you're in a wheelchair. I went down to London yesterday, and I already had some hassle. Please remove your luggage from the wheelchair space. Yeah. Yeah. London Underground only made things worse. I was travelling from Westminster back to King's Cross and ultimately to my home in Yorkshire. But the lift at Green Park down to the Piccadilly line was out and there was no sign as to what a passenger should do, nor warning anywhere else. I happily knew to go and catch the Victoria line and ended up at King's Cross where I was confronted with this. This is the only lift from the Piccadilly and Victoria lines back to the surface at King's Cross. It was shut with no sign as to what anybody needing it should do. So I pressed the information point to ask the staff. They obviously hadn't prepared for this situation because they couldn't work out how to direct me to get back to the surface. They put me on hold for some considerable time and when they eventually came back, this is what happened. I'm going to miss my taxi, aren't I? I'm going to miss my train, I mean. My train ticket's only valid on the 719, and there was no signs at Green Park or at Westminster that... Uh, we're advertised as not being step three, I'm afraid, because the escalator didn't lift that service. Eh? It's been out all day. It was all right when I came down on it this morning. <laughs> well, you didn't put any signs up at like Green Park or at Westminster. If the if the um, if the stairs and escalators were shut, I bet there'd be signs up. What am I going to do about my train? Please would you get the fireman's lift? Please would you operate the fireman's lift? Yeah, I appreciate what you're saying, but that doesn't really help with the fact that I've got a train at 18 minutes past seven. It's the last train of the day. It's the last Grand Central. There's nothing else we can go. Please, will you come down in person and assist me? Assist you how? Well, it'd be good if you actually physically took me to Caledonian Road and back. Uh, we, can't, we don't have to start for that, sir. Right. Well, I've sued you three times. I've got two cases in the courts against you now for lack of appropriate act, uh, information about closure of lifts. And this is going to be another one. I suggest you get the station shift commander down here or you will face a major issue in the courts. I don't care if it's been on the website or not. If you shut the stairs and you shut the escalators, then there would be signs all along. But you don't bother doing that for the lifts because there are so few disabled people and we clearly don't matter so much. At this point he cut me off again. Sorry, the line dropped again. 
I'm sorry about the loud noise, it was very loud down there. It doesn't help because I'm deaf and I struggle with hearing the intercom and other such sounds, particularly when there's background noise. That's partly why I wanted them to come down to speak me in person. So, after getting cut off this time, I pressed the emergency button repeatedly, but that didn't help. Here's why. train to Caledonian Road and a bus back. No British Transport Police telephone lines are available. I don't think he's going to answer. No British Transport Police telephone lines are available. If I'd been made aware of the problems at King's Cross, instead of travelling the way I did, I would have travelled from Westminster along the Jubilee Line to London Bridge, and then the Northern Line up to King's Cross, and I wouldn't have had that problem. But I wasn't aware that King's Cross had a problem with their lift. Nobody said anywhere along the line, there was no announcements, there was no notices, and that, you know, they say that it's on their website. How many people check the website for where the stairs are open on the you know hour before they do their commute home. It's ridiculous to expect disabled people to do so and that's even if you have the ability to. I had my smartphone with me but I never thought to check that the lift I'd used that morning was still working, you know? It's ridiculous the extent that they expect people to go to in order to be able to travel in a wheelchair on this railway. I'm gonna go to the ticket hall and try to find. Don't, don't This is an exceptionally long video without much happening for most of it. There's kind of a good reason for that. And I'll leave you to imagine what that is. Although I must say that I'm feeling considerably less stressed, frustrated and concerned now saying this than I was back then when I was sat at the bottom of those escalators and stairs, not able to get up them for my train. And it was the last train of the day because I was using Grand Central, tickets only valid on Grand Central, and their last train leaves at 1918. When I was on that train, I thought I would have a look and see this wonderful web page that TfL have that demonstrate that there is indeed a uh, problem with the lift at King's Cross. This is what came up. So even if I looked, which I don't see why I should and most people wouldn't, you know, it still didn't give me the information that I needed. Anyway, something is about to happen again. The station announcer is about to pipe up. I'm still pressing the emergency button repeatedly at this point. And then all of a sudden, this admonishing voice came whiffling out. Well, I consider myself suitably admonished. How dare I repeatedly press the alarm button while stuck underground at a station where I can't get out, not at my own choice and where I'm being told to go to another station and catch a bus back in order to miss my train back home. How shocking of me. I do hope that I am so disappointed in myself. The button's stuck in. I do hope you're enjoying this guy's riffing as much as I am. You know, I'm sure he's very great and everything, and I'm being unfair, but um, after the first 30 seconds this became quite wearing. 
and you know we're approaching like 12 minutes now 10 minutes of video two minutes before i started it going and um yeah yeah I, I, i've kind of tuned into this guy's style now and i have to say i truly hate it It doesn't get announced and we're expected to look. Why? We no, are, we're still gonna we still wouldn't really be able to get you up. I know what you're saying, but even if we had the side there, we still plans. wouldn't get you back up, would we? That's what we're trying plans to do. Plans at Green like Green Park, Westminster. Yeah, but yeah, but then that's what I'm saying. We're trying to get you. I wouldn't have ended up here and then trying to work out. Oh, I could no, have known from earlier well, on. Like that. That's why we're trying to help, we're trying to give the you The other thing is your emergency button gets stuck in. I didn't like the announcement that said please stop pressing the button. But it's, it's because blocking, it physically yeah, blocking it wasn't me, it physically was stuck in. Yeah, like you were pressing it too yeah, many times. Yeah, you were pressing it too many times. We saw you on the camera. Well, you've got a camera. I was pressing it a few times, but then it eventually got stuck. Anyway, let's, let's not worry about that. What we're going to try and do is, we'll try and get up an escalator, a moving escalator, um, on there. But um, I've got, that's right. Not, obviously, we're going to take your bag I've off. I've sued London Underground three times for lack of information about closure of lifts. We've got two and other cases in the courts. This is going to be another. Well, that's, that's up that's to you. Fine, yeah, it's, for, it's, but it's been advertised, yeah. but that's It's been on the website, yeah. If yeah. the stairs and the escalators were yeah, out... we're not talking about stairs and escalators. Exactly. It's because it's only disabled people that need it. No, that's not true at all. Oh, it's not it's, disabled it's, people. It, it's many people who need it. Luggage, yeah. people with dogs. Loads of so people why don't you put it elsewhere, then? Why do, why do you only put it on the website and expect people to look? Because, yeah, basically, yeah. Why? You, you plan your journey because you yeah, know Yeah, I yourself, planned it first thing this morning. Yeah, but well, it's, it's been so out So you've got a train to morning. catch. So, yeah. Let's, okay. let's try and do this. No. So, you can pop that bag off. What would you do if there was a fire? Well, we'd put you into a place of safety. Well, obviously, all these door fire doors and all these place of safety. So we'd put you in a place of safety where, where as soon as the fire brigade come, you'd be priority for them to come down to you straight away. So we've got them contingencies. I know you're frustrated about it. Where's the fireman's so, lift? Fireman's lift's Northern Lane, which you can't can't get to. So they're not going to it back from down here. Down. No. Because this, this you know, whatever you have to do, you've got escalators or stairs again. You know, because yes, if you're coming on the northern line, then yes, that's one of our alternatives. You know, but unfortunately, when you're stuck over here, there's either going back on your journey. Sorry. Fine either as to what to do. You know, it's a shot. I've done it once or twice. Yeah, on, on not on the not on the underground. Yeah, on that side of it, yeah. And obviously we're gonna have one member starving side. Okay, thank you. 
Okay, yeah. You know, I look for a safe. Yeah. I look. Okay. I look. But don't go. I look. Don't go a minute. Ready? That's all right. Thank you. Thanks guys. This in 2017 makes me wonder if London Underground will ever comply with their legal and moral duties towards disabled people.